Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here with the Behemoth Chamber, level 5, number 5 here. We are going to unlock the level 5 Ogre, hopefully. This is one of the last dungeons in the dungeon mission quest here. You can see we only have a few more to do, and then we have unlocked every single thing. So let's jump right in and take a look at this base here. So Ogre's leading the way with some all blasters and some archers sprinkled in there the towers and all the buildings are all structured right around this big corner uh... and you can see there's a lot of towers in there there's two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen nineteen towers in there so a little bit more than what we're used to working up against uh, this could be pretty problematic because of that I mean, you got 19 towers, you got like 10 or so blockades in there. Most of them are skull towers, so they're going to do a hefty amount of damage to our mummy. We are probably going to go in there with a, a bunch of cannons and mummies to take this base down. It doesn't look like there's any firebolt towers, so we won't really need the, the pyromancer at all. What we can also do is we can throw in the knights as well. And the knights, I have a feeling, are going to be very, very effective at taking down these skull towers. Uh, they're just big swarms of them. Will help us tremendously. They're going to die. They're going to die, obviously, to the snake tower. He has a little bit of snake towers in there. But the skull towers, the swarm of knights with the new hero scream ability should be pretty effective. Uh, we probably will end up using a blessing scroll as well. But we are going to take heal scroll, heal spell, blade storm, sonic blast, and give this a a whirl right here we actually do need a little bit more food they the price for these things did uh, it looked like stay the same and looks like the last one the gold chamber one was actually just a little cheap so initially I'm gonna bring out a bunch of knights here then we're gonna bring out a mummy the knights end up getting gobbled up by the ogres. Uh, I was unfortunately hoping that the ogres would take on the mummy. That did not happen. Up oh, there is a fireball tower in there as well. Coming up here to hit that one, come back down to clean out those ogres. Responding out a few knights to help clean off the ogres. We need to kind of dance around the ogre to make sure that we don't die. Because if he does hit us, he is going to do around 25% of our life. And it helps having these speed boots. So we can now dance rings around the ogre. And unfortunately we were stuck on that barricade. Oh shit. And an ogre is actually at the castle gate there. And we might end up dying thanks to that. Oh no, the, uh, the knights that saved us right there. We were able to spawn out several knights. Able to save us from that ogre. Or whoever was at the, uh, at the entrance. So we're going to go ahead and pop a scroll right here. We're bringing out a couple cannons now. Uh, we have some issues. The, the ogres are making their way back there. We haven't taken them out. So I don't know how this is going to go because the cannons will not target the ogres, to my knowledge. And we can't win this match unless we get 100%. So we might actually need to time warp this thing. And there's nothing we can really do. We can spawn out just constantly more troops. So we're spawning a mix between ogres or uh, knights 
and cannons. And we're hoping that the cannons will just push through. And unfortunately for us, I don't think we're going to get 100% because I'm pretty sure there's a snake tower still alive back here. So this is going to be a massive failure right here for us. Yep, we only got two stars, not 100%, not good enough to get the uh, ogre unlocked. 97, so we missed two towers. We are going to have to go back in there. And unfortunately, we have to go buy some more food. So we are almost out of gems now. And you can see we have two crowns above the room. Uh, same type of strategy here. But we're just going to make sure that our hero takes out the towers. The knights really didn't do that much. So we're not really going to spawn them. They did help us take out the, um, the final troops that actually snuck past us. Because our, our tent was almost destroyed last time. So, you know, they did help out some. I probably should have bring archers or our blasters with me instead of uh, knights. Because the ogre is weak to those guys. I do have to make sure that no one gets through. You can't let an ogre live. Especially with the troop formation that I have. So we have to make sure, and the game is lagging a lot. That is not my, like, connection or anything. That is the actual game. So we are running low on HP, like, really, really bad. We're going to scroll a little bit earlier this time. We're going to go ahead and stop time. Because we do not want to lose this time. So now we're, we were able to clean out most of the buildings. Uh, doing fairly well. Have a nice sizable army here. A couple ogre or mummies together now are doing stuns all over the place. Preventing the uh, ogres from actually hurting us. The combination of the ogre and that snake tower did a massive amount of damage right there. Definitely need to summon out a mummy to try and distract the ogre. And we got hit there. So you can see a big cluster of ogres is, is massive pretty damn hard to get through so we're gonna go ahead and stop time and we want to ensure that we win this fight so all the towers are down we just need to kill the castle gate and we should have a hundred percent here So I definitely should have bring archers or our blasters to help clean out the ogres. Uh, that was my mistake. And it definitely cost me a lot of life. And probably a lot of gems and scrolls. And there we have it. We have our three star there. So if you are going into this base, definitely bring archers or our blasters. Along with, uh, you know, mummies worked out for me. And then cannons help clean out some of the towers but archers and our blasters are very very important for this level right here so we just unlocked ogre level five we're gonna go take a look at his stats he is a beast he definitely hurts lots and lots of hp and you will notice him higher up in the game and uh a lot of players actually use him he's a very very good defensive unit and you just saw why 
So tomorrow we will attack the Shapeshifter Hollow and unlock Mummy or uh, Werewolf Level Three. Sadly, I do have to wait for my farms and stuff. My farms are all upgrading, so that's why I've been forced to buy food with the uh, gems. And I'm running really, really low. We only have 39 gems left. So we have Ogre level 5 right here. 465 blunt damage, 10,980 HP. I mean, why couldn't they just make him 11,000? Like, why did they have to make it such an odd number? Ah. So there you have him. Ogre level 5, maxed out, more coming soon. So, very, very exciting. Great news that the dungeon timers are reduced dramatically. We didn't even use the hero scream feature because there was no frosters, and we were just in a hectic, hectic fight down there. Uh, we definitely should have used it because it does increase your attack speed and movement speed of units. We just didn't have the, uh, you know, the time to kind of squeeze that hero scream in there. But yeah, very, very tough, difficult base right there. And uh, leave your tips down below. I definitely think archers and R blasters now would have done so much better. Unfortunately, I don't have enough food to go through and actually do it again with those guys. So we'll save that for another time. Anyway, thanks for watching.